Welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood, Master of Chaos, back with some more Black Friday 2020 coverage. Behind me sits Best Buy. Now, uh, this past year, uh, regardless of pandemic, their uh, physical media section particularly has been really lacking. Um, however, it looks like they're gonna pull it out in the uh, in the uh, the ninth inning. I know nothing about sports, but I'm assuming that's sort of a late in the game win. Uh, when it comes to their Black Friday sales, I, I, I have done a little research, and it looks like uh, they're going to have some pretty great uh, Blu-ray and DVD sales, also some really great video game sales as well. I'm going to be covering that. I'll be covering TVs, so stay tuned for that information. If you're new here, this is the first time we've met. Please consider subscribing. If you do, you'll see me tomorrow. Master Chaos comes at you daily. I cover sales, Blu-ray, DVD news, Hollywood history, out and about adventures, a ton of stuff. We have a lot of fun on this channel, and I'd love for you to join the Master Chaos Army. For now, let's check out Best Buy, and while we're in there, we're going to check out the ad scan as well. We're gonna peruse it, and I'll give you my top picks for things that are coming this Black Friday 2020. But before we get in there, I have a special guest with me, and he's got some special news. Little Master here has some good news. Show them what you got, man. We lost our tooth, <laughs> our first tooth here. And the uh, Tooth Fairy came and gave him 10 bucks he's gonna use for Black Friday, yeah? Yeah. All right, you ready to go to Best Buy? Yeah. Let's do it. Great holiday gifts here. They've got the standard holiday films lined up. You know, standard holiday films like The Hobbit. And the James Bond collection. I don't know what the hell that's there, but okay. Uh, looks like they're getting ready for Black Friday here. These are the kind of stuff that you'll see. These kind of towers of things. Three hundred dollars. What do you got here? Fifty-five LED 4K. That's not a bad price for for a 4K, but insignia. You know, call me a you know snob. I like to go with a brand that's that's got some that, that, that's got some age on it. There's also some new type of TVs, which uh, I had just heard, learned about, actually. Crystal UHD, this one. I believe it's the same one. No, this is an LG. I don't know how much the Samsung is. Samsung, this is a different Samsung. Maybe this is the Crystal one, doesn't really say, but I mean, that's hell, That's a hella cheap for a, for a big 4K TV. Um, let's, let's look at the ads, the Black Friday ads specifically, and, and see what they've got for their TVs. Do keep in mind, this is page one of 144 when it comes to the Best Buy Black Friday 2020 ad scan. I'm not going to do every page of the ad. I'm just going to do uh, certain sections that interest me and hopefully interest you as well. And uh, like I said, let's kick it off with the TVs. Here. Uh, look at that one, 65 inch for under $1,000. That's amazing. My TV, my current TV is 65 inch and it's not 4K and I paid way more I paid me way, way more for it four years ago. That is, I mean, that is a ridiculously good price, and from a good brand, Samsung. I love that. That's that's a hell of a deal. And then there's this. There's the Crystal TVs, and then there's Nano Cell. Does anybody know what that means? Nano Cell technology, 75 inch Nano Cell 80 series LED, uh, UHD Smart Web OS TV, a thousand dollars. You save 500 that's that's awesome that's a hell of a deal lg you know eh, it's not a it's not a super name brand but it's it's been around it's been around uh real quickly here the samsung's are pretty pricey but these are you know monster tvs here wow 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 75 inch lg 4k 650 bucks wow that's not bad that's amazing 65 inch class 7 series. I don't know what any of that means. Samsung is a solid brand 65 inch. Wow, nice uh, Looks like you get you can buy a soundbar. I recommend soundbars by the way with these TVs the uh, Speakers on them are very small uh, So yeah, highly if you don't have a, a home theater set up definitely get a, a soundbar I'm sure you'll be able to find some kind of package deal. I believe actually there's a package deal on Amazon if you buy certain TVs you click a button and you get a free sound bar. So uh, look into that for sure. 70 inch LED uh, uh, Tizen TV. I don't know, a smart Tizen. I don't know what that means. Uh, 530. 
that's a uh, 70 inch 4k tv for that price that's and, and it's a name brand so i'm wow i'm, I'm very excited Man, man, I kind of want to buy a new TV. We're kind of surrounded by televisions right now. It's a big old stacks of televisions that are ready for uh, Black Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying one. I don't really need one, but uh, uh, lots of good deals there for the ad scan. Um, however, um, right now I'm very interested in checking out the video games. Let's check the video games here. This is Xbox. Uh, I don't have an Xbox, so if you do, um, I'll go over the, the sales on the ad scan, but uh, looks like there's nothing really standing out here. Oh yeah, Sonic Team Racing. Let's, um, let's go check out the PS4. That's what I've got. I'm not going to get a PS5 this season. I'm going to wait a year until all the, you know, the kinks and the bugs have been worked out. Oh wow, look at that. Big collector's edition. I'm disappointed with that game. I love the first one. Oh yeah, we did get Medieval. That was a fun game. Let's say, uh, kind of a zombie. I oh, found it. This is one we're definitely grabbing for Black Friday. Well, right now it's thirty dollars, but uh, which is what that is cheaper. It's normally forty. Forty, but but we'll we'll get it for fifteen dollars Yeah, I think we've seen it for thirteen dollars on Black Friday. So Man Eater's on our list for sure. And the other one that we're gonna get, where? Oh, here. Destroy All Humans, I believe, I will have to check the ad scan, we'll do that in a second. And I believe uh, Destroy All Humans is $20 here, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be cheaper That's at cute. GameStop. It might be cheaper at GameStop, yeah. but those are the two that we're going to get for sure. Um, let me see, do they have any of the... No, they probably don't have any of the PS5 stuff. Let's go check that out real quick. No, no PS5 stuff, just the, the, these big arcade things, which are definitely Black Friday deals. So, um, okay, so let's, let's check the, the Black Friday ad scan for video games. Well, the console wars are heating up once again. The PS5 is releasing this uh, season as well as the new Xbox. I, and you'll forgive me, I don't remember the name of it because it, it, the name is so similar to the original, or the, I should say the previous iteration. It's Xbox uh, Series X or Series Scarlet, something like that. I don't remember. I'll, we'll find that as we go along. Uh, keep in mind, this is going to be hard to find, uh, the, the PlayStation 5. I doubt that there will be many available in stores. I'm waiting till next Black Friday, to be honest. I'm going to wait for the kinks to be worked out. But um, uh, FYI, new games are now $70. No longer $59.99. They are $69.99. Woo! Prices are going up. Let's take a look at the discounted prices here. The Last of Us Part 2 is 30 bucks. I think I'm just going to stay clear of that game in general. Star Wars Squadrons, that's new. And I believe that's on PS4 as well. Doom Eternal. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, Xbox Series X. That's what the new one is called. Uh, Doom Eternal, that's the new Doom. That's amazing. 20 bucks. That's discounted from 60 bucks. That is a deal. Final Fantasy VII, the remake, is $30. That's that's pretty high for, uh, uh, you know, Black Friday discount. I mean, I guess $30 off, so you, get, you do get 50% off there if you don't already own it. Days Gone from PlayStation. I was considering that one. 20 bucks. that's half off. Outer Worlds, I don't even know of that game. I've never even heard of that. Spyro, I'm going to pick up Spyro, but for the PS4, for me and the kids to play, we had fun uh, working our way through Crash Bandicoot, which is the hardest freaking game ever made. And I hear Spyro was easier, so we're going to grab that. Let's see here. A couple of greatest hits. Um, a Neo 2 for 10 bucks. Horizon Zero Dawn, 10 bucks. God of War, 10 bucks. Good stuff. We got a couple of next gen titles here. Now, uh, please do pay attention when you do see stuff like this because they are in the Black Friday ad, but they are not on sale. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War looks amazing, but it is $70. Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is $60. And uh, Demon's Souls is 70. Those are not discounted. Please uh, don't make the mistake of going to the store and thinking you're going to get a deal on that. The new Crash Bandicoot 4 is only 45 bucks. Not a huge uh, discount on that. Ghost of Tsushima, I want that game so bad. If you know me and you know this channel, you know I love samurai movies. And that just sounds like an epic badass game. Uh, 40 bucks, yeah, it's about $20 off. That's that's a bit pricey. That's, that's a bit more than I actually pay for my games. I always wait for Black Friday. I would have gone with 30. If I can find it for 30, I'm gonna grab it. 
And a couple of uh, VR games here are going to be discounted heavily if uh, if you're into the VR. If you have a Switch, don't expect massive price drops here. The uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses is only 35 bucks. The new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe is 35 Yoshi's Crafted World is 35 I think that's as low as it's going to get for those type of games. However, things like Family Feud, Power Rangers, and the Lego games you can be able to find for 20 here is Xbox claiming they're the future of gaming. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm a PlayStation guy. I have owned an Xbox in the past. I've owned multiple. I, I've had the original. I've had the 360. Uh, but uh, I just, I don't know. I, 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 and I enjoyed them very much. I played some really great games on that. You know, Gears of War and things like that. But I really just enjoy PlayStation. Uh, the Microsoft Series X and the... Wait, there's two? Series X and the Series S? Boy, that is... Wow, that is confusing. I don't know what the new one is. Uh, I think it's that fridge, that black fridge one for 500 bucks. Just price alone, that tells me that. Cyberpunk 2077, that sounds like a really fun game. It looks amazing. If you pre-order that, you receive $10 in rewards and you get a free steelbook. Lastly, let's take a look at this uh, bunch of deals. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I really wanted to get that game, 25 bucks. Uh, that's not a bad, it's not a bad deal. Absolutely not a bad deal. Sekiro, I wanted to play that one, another samurai game, but I hear that's difficult as ass. And, well, I, uh, I, I like my games a, a, a little more fair. There's the Destroy All Humans I mentioned, uh, 20 bucks. It says Xbox One, but I know it's on PlayStation as well. Uh, the Witcher, 20 bucks. Wow, the Witcher, still, 20 bucks, wow, okay. Uh, Forza. And uh, Gears of War 5 Standard Edition will be, wow, $5. Dang. Either that game sucks or that is the deal of a century. Lastly here, I just spotted Maneater Standard Edition. It says Xbox One, but I know it's on PlayStation. So $13, baby. That is the right price for us. We are snatching that up. Lots of really fun stuff on there. I'm excited to uh, add some games to my collection this Black Friday. But now, uh, I want to rush on over to check out the movies. The store isn't really set up for Black Friday quite yet. But as of the recording of the video, it is the 11th. They've got plenty of time to get things together. Sometimes they do it, uh, you know, the day of, the night before. There's a lot of stuff here that is interesting. I want to take a look at everything because... Oh yeah, Aquaman, nice. Steelbook on that. I'm going to be joining the 4K family of collectors pretty soon. But man, these titles are expensive. Expensive. Dang. Look, here is the here's the Jaws 4K. $17. This is not the Steelbook or the uh, the other. There's like a special edition here that's uh, got a whole bunch of stuff. Don't sit on that. <laughs> but uh, I believe the Steelbook's going to be on sale for Black Friday. We're going to check the ad scan in one second. Um... Yeah, oh wow, this is a deal right here. Flash Gordon for 20 bucks. That's probably like 30, 40 bucks. That's pretty good. That's the cheapest I've seen it. Oh, look at this, a new 4K. Is this Steelbook? Yeah, look at this. A new Steelbook 4K cover for Scary Stories. That looks epic. If you guys haven't seen Scary Stories, highly recommend. This is a really good movie, and they're making a sequel, so I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, a sequel! Oh, wow, I thought you were holding it. <laughs> Scoob, yeah, we, we watched that. Yeah, I think if I do start collecting 4Ks, which I will eventually, uh, I'm not gonna be, um, I'm not gonna be looking to pay full price. Uh, oh, here is this uh, uh, fantastic, how much is it? 100 bucks? Jeez. What is this? This is the Rambo box set steel book. It has one, two, three, and four there. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Whoa. That's really beautiful. 100 bucks, man. Well, if it was on discount, I might grab it, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not, not, a, huge, not a huge Rambo fan. Um, love the first two, and that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you get five, five movies with that and the new Mulan Steelbook. I've heard really bad things about that movie, so. We're sort of keeping our distance for the moment. Anyway, um, we're going to keep looking here, but why don't we uh, take a peek at the ad scan for Black Friday when it comes to physical media. Okay, it's movie time. $5.99 for select Blu-ray movies. 
Deal not available. Can we preview the product? I wonder. Oh, it's just that's just that. Okay. Um, so Joker, us, Super Troopers. Wow. How oh, weird to lump that in with them. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I really dislike that franchise. I love Harry Potter, but the Fantastic Beast movies are garbage. Shazam for six bucks. You know, I don't own Shazam. We really like that. I might grab Shazam. Uh, tons of Blu-ray and 4K movies for sale, guys. 4K for sale at $7.99. That is a brain buster. Look at that. Oh, my God. 1917 4K for $7.99. Yes. Yes. I'm grabbing that. I loved that movie. That movie, you know, if Parasite didn't win Best Picture, 1917 should have. That is a masterpiece movie. $7.99 for 4K, 100% grabbing that. Ex Machina, fantastic movie. Uh, Parasite, uh, yeah, uh, Parasite, $7.99, great. Let's see here, uh, Birds of Prey, eight bucks. Hacksaw Ridge, eight bucks. Expendables, couple more 4K goodies here. Jumanji, next level. Jumanji, next level, I think I'm gonna buy at Walmart. I think I saw it for a better price over there. Top Gun, 4K. Invisible Man, Godzilla 2, uh, 10 bucks for 4K. Great. Great deals. Aquaman, I don't have that. That's a that, that would be great on 4K. Uh, Batwoman, the complete first season. Uh, I'm going to pass on that. Uh, Disney movies starting at $9.99. So uh, yeah, be aware of that. They start at $9.99. That doesn't mean that they're going to end there. So uh, if you're looking for... Good Disney prices, I would say. Walmart is your best bet. However, however, it looks like... No, actually, yeah, Walmart would be your best bet. Coming soon, Disney movies starting at $9.99. Onward is $16, $17 here. You can get it for $10 at Walmart. Um, yeah, go to Walmart for your Disney movie needs. There's that Jaws Steelbook, $14.99. I've got Jaws a thousand times. It's... One of my favorite movies, and uh, yes, I'm going to be grabbing that on 4K Steelbook. Of course I am. Um, I liked Knives Out, but I don't know that I'd want to own it. Midway, I haven't seen, but I bet that looks fantastic. Ghost in the Shell, I feel like I own it so many times. I think I'm going to pass on that, but Jaws, definitely, definitely. Looks like the, yeah, the Sonic uh, Steelbook is going to be 15 bucks. Quiet Place Mondo Steelbook will be 15 bucks. And the Knives Out Steelbook as well. Then you save on the holiday hits in Steelbook packaging. Now, the, the, the stuff that's shown here... Oh, yeah, I guess this is a Steelbook uh, packaging. It just threw me off with the blue border there. Doesn't say how much the savings are on these. So uh, keep that in mind. But I assume they'll be somewhere around, around the $10 or less price range. Let's see. Uh, Star Wars, the complete... Skywalker Saga, as they're calling it, uh, 200 bucks. I actually don't know what it goes for now, but that's 4K for the Star Wars movies. Uh, you can pre-order the uh, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies in 4K. Well, that's not really Black Friday-ish. I don't know why they're including that. Deal not available? Well, what is the deal? You didn't, you didn't even tell me what the deal is. Here's something we have our eye on here. The Hunger Games Complete 4 Film Collection. And uh, Mission Impossible 6 Movie Collection. Is that the Blu-ray? Wow, 6 Blu-rays for $10? That's a hell of a deal. And the Saw franchise there, uh, 10 bucks. That's awesome. I actually don't have any of those movies on Blu-ray, so uh, that would be pretty fantastic to grab. Looks like a couple of TV collection sets as well. But it doesn't give you any details as to what their pricing would be what happens if i click get deal looks like it just brings me to the best buy page where uh, i can see what the uh tv shows are that are going to be on sale of course uh this is not the black friday pricing so don't worry my friend you you, you will not oh by the way battle Star galactica is an amazing show god damn what a good show that is highly recommend that uh yeah this is not what you'll be paying for black friday so don't worry avatar the last bender great show as well well, there you have it, physical media-wise. I think uh, Best Buy wins as far as the physical media is concerned. I'm definitely going to be here uh, on Black Friday grabbing uh, most of those deals. Like I said, the Hunger Games for sure. Uh, and who knows what else pops up in my cart. Uh, so I'm excited. If you're excited, please let me know in the comments down below if you think that uh, 
Black Friday has been won officially by Best Buy. I think it has. I haven't seen what Target has to offer yet. Their ad has not released officially yet. Hello. Um, before we leave, let's have another look around at the physical media and then, then we'll call it a day. This, uh, it just came out on, you know, Criterion, so it's on sale for Criterion for 20 bucks. However, um, if you don't need it to be Criterion, you know, for a Black Friday, it's going to be 7 bucks. So, I highly recommend you get this any way you can. Great movie. That's Parasite. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this. Two movie, uh, uh, steelbook for, for Jump Street. Whoa, how much? No way, really? This is Ultraman, Little Master. He's kind of like a Japanese superhero. He fights like Godzilla-type monsters. What's that? That is Ponyo. She is a, a little fish girl. Um, okay. Heavy Metal is out on Blu-ray. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Nine bucks. Well, ten bucks. That's awesome. This is going to be on sale. And uh, like I mentioned, we're going to be getting it for it's Missing Black Chaos. Friday. Yeah. Black right now, it is uh, $23. There's only two of them, so hopefully they'll get more in stock. But we're definitely going to be grabbing that. If I had to get it online, I'll get it online. But uh, you know, you, you can't beat uh, four yeah. movies for ten bucks, we, right? We both, we both want me and Missy Chaos um, really like the first movie, so we want to get the box set. That's right. Dang, they really do have this. It's on Blu-ray. What is it? The six uh, movie Mission Impossible collection. You know, currently it's uh, still it's actually not a bad price for that. Uh, less than thirty bucks for six movies. However, they're gonna make like two more, so it won't be the complete collection. I I think I'm gonna wait till maybe everything is done uh, for the Mission Impossible films. Uh, I'm not a huge fan to be honest, but I, I I admire them. The same with the John Wick movies. Uh, they've got one uh, through three here, but you know they're gonna shoot at least two more from what I hear, maybe three more. So I'm gonna wait till John Wick. It's over and done with, and then I'll get the big John Wick box set that comes in a gun or something. That, that'll be cool. Quick look at the new releases here. You got a Sonic Steelbook. This beautiful Jaws Steelbook. I'm going to try and grab this for Black Friday. It comes with the comic book. Yeah, it comes with the comic book there. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, interesting artwork there on Far From Home. 35 bucks, but these are expensive. I mean, uh, let's call this Excalibur. Uh, Equalizer 1 and 2. I'm not a huge fan of those movies. Ooh, Four yeah, thirty. Good, good, good try. Yeah, thirty-four bucks. You're right. Mulan, steel books. A couple did. Well, actually, this is a steel book, but interesting. I, you know, I, I wish I heard good things, but uh, I'm hearing not so great things. This breaks my heart, though. This is the It's a Wonderful Life 4K steel book with a vintage movie poster. It is uh, twenty-three bucks. I just bought the 4K for fourteen dollars. Just as a collector's piece, but it's exactly the same thing that I have. Just a you know, steel book. Is that I, 25 bucks? That is, yeah, you're right, that is 25. But man, I, I don't I don't normally double dip. But this steel book is just so excellent. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Honestly, probably my favorite movie of all time. If you've never seen It's a Wonderful Life, please do yourself a favor and watch it. Criterion should put that out. That would be amazing. And then here, I haven't seen these in person. This is the uh, 4K Back to the Futures. Really great. And then, of course, the best Christmas movie ever made, Die Hard. Okay, Little Master wants to show us something he discovered, and then we'll uh, then we'll call it a day. Check this out. It's called Twinkly. Try the button. Let's see. You can you can basically program your house, make it look like a light show. Wait, wait, wait. Let it play out. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Nice. And Twinkly. It's an easy and setup. That one. And then Beautiful. What would you rather get well, price? these are the prices. That's why it might not be uh, great for everybody. Ninety dollars. Well, check this out. It uh, comes with 190 icicles or 250, but it's definitely not a it's not a cheap thing to own. But it's quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. Well, that'll do, Bugaboo. I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, Best Buy. I did a little bit of a uh, shopping out and about uh, visit to Best Buy with my little buddy. And uh, then a look at the Black Friday ad scans for this uh, amazing uh, 2020 season. I'm very excited. I do honestly think that uh, Best Buy has won Black Friday, but it remains to be seen because Target has not released their official Black Friday ads. So, my friend, we are on pins and needles awaiting that ad scan. Stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about uh, the Criterion Barnes & Noble sale. A couple of new developments have appeared. They're going to save you money. So I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Until we meet again, this has been your Philly Neighborhood 
Master Chaos and your friendly neighborhood, Little Master. That has been Best Buy, and we remain to be continued.